Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Man, I sure appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here. Say it with me. Just in time. That's right, just in time for another public campground experiential video. Yappy had some, some business to attend to in Central Texas, and we're kind of wandering around her territory while she does what she does. I get to do what I do. Now we're starting off kind of in a reverse. You see I'm drinking the coffee. We rolled in here about six o'clock last night. I think it's the latest we've arrived at a campsite. Maybe ever. <laughs> anyway, we are here. We are at the Lakewood Recreation Area, as, as you saw right up there. This is a Guadalupe River Authority park campground i don't know much about it uh we got here last night set up and went ate supper and went to bed stopped and bought some barbecue on the way hold on waiting on the car to go by the only thing I, only downside to this little campsite so far all right so we stopped on our way passing through doesn't matter we bought some barbecue i ate some barbecue and then and we then we went to bed we actually have pretty good tv service we've got four bars of 4g verizon here we're just five miles outside of gonzalez texas the guadalupe rivers down here we're gonna be seeing that shortly we're only here for a few hours today because of the way the schedule works out. So I gotta, I gotta get busy before I do anything. Before, before we start looking at the stuff, I want to give a special shout out of thanks to Unique Products for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Unique, they special, they they're in the line of duty, meaning they take care of your tanks. We've got a, got a little display set up here. Check this out. We no longer have issues with our black tanks, thanks to, to the unique line of products. And they've sent us a, a selection of their best products here. We have professional grade, and then we have consumer grade. So the professional grade, we've got clean it. This is for deep cleaning. This is digested professional extra extra duty. So if you got a black tank that's really clogged, that'll that'll take care of that clog. They use bacteria and enzymes to break down that stuff. There's no formaldehyde or other chemicals to mask the odor. They they just get rid of the odor. There's restore it. It cleans the sensors. So if you're having an issue with the sensor's always showing full on the black tank. <laughs> that works for it. This is, we use this every time we dump and we put a, about a, about a teaspoon in there. Keep that bacteria enzyme culture alive. You don't want to use bleach to clean your toilet because that'll kill your little bacteria and enzyme colony. So they've got a RV, the scrub it RV toilet bowl cleaner. And it's a good idea if, if, and they actually have a document that talks about all this. And you can get that on their, their website. Speaking of websites, there'll be a link in the card above and in the description below. Products are also available on Amazon. And I have a link to my Amazon influencer page. This was a Friday's Finds item. So it's on that Friday's Finds shopping list. But if the best way to handle your RV black tank is to actually store it full of water. You want to dump it, put in some, store it, fill it up with water, and before you roll out again, dump it. Problems are solved. So the unique line of products, unique, they're in the line of duty. All right, let's get on with this video. We gotta look at some stuff. How about we look at a campsite first and foremost, so when I when I I found this just by looking at Google Maps. 
and in the satellite image you could I could see that uh, there seemed to be a lake that was low and I don't know for a fact and we'll find this out in a little bit but I think that the there was a dam on the Guadalupe River and it got washed out and it hasn't been rebuilt but that's why we've got this ditch right next to our campsite that looks like it should have water in it we're in site number 57 I think hold on it's a pull it, there's three pull through sites here and we were interested in the pull through hold on we'll walk around here we're in site number 43 it is 50 amp and water 50 30 and water and supposedly it's a pull through but it's unlike any pull through that I've ever seen first off the pad is is gravel down there and if you look there's no road there's no driveway to get in here I guess it's you're supposed to do like this drive in in a U but I don't know what I do know is if it was raining I wouldn't be I wouldn't have pulled Trudy back here because you can see somebody pulled back here at some time in the past when it was wet. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't pull Trudy back here if it was wet. But since it's not wet, we did. It's actually a pretty level site. I didn't have to do any blocking at all to get her right. We got 50 amp service. We've got water if we need it, of course. I rarely, if ever, I, I never connect to the street connection on my motorhome anyway. I don't have to worry about the city pressure. I just fill the, the onboard tank and we run off that. We're talking about the site though. So the site, we've got a fire ring, picnic table with my unique products line up there. Charcoal cooker and some big, beautiful poplar trees on the west side so when we got here late yesterday there was all we had shade we don't have any shade during the middle of the day but you know this rv life is all about trade-offs and the trade-off we needed was so we originally were supposed to be here for two nights and then something came up and we had to go somewhere else so we got here late yesterday and we didn't really need Starlink for her to work but if we had needed Starlink this was probably the best site to get Starlink that's the north and you see we've got sun coming up so that would give us out here a shot at the northern sky now the other sites from what I can, uh, what I was able to ascertain by maps and satellite images, those other sites don't have a view of the north sky. So I'm gonna put away my display of the RV, of the unique products. They're in the line of duty. We're gonna deploy some battery operated vehicles and we're gonna go see some stuff. So let's go see some stuff. <laughs> There's the Guadalupe River right there. The dam. You see the dam is... It's collapsing. Looks like at one point it, the water was even... We know at one point the water was a lot higher. Says it's a restricted area. I wonder if we'd get in trouble if we just went up here and looked. Watch for rattlesnakes. Ah, 
There we go. So that's where there should be a lake. Guadalupe Blanco River Authority. Going up. Lots of fishing that goes on here. And someone has the electrical tape rod holders on, in place and left there. This is a really pretty campground. Just look at this. We're down in, the, in a pecan grove. Look at this. Man, that is just beautiful. And I have noticed the, the, the turkey vultures are pulling trash out of the trash can I, I kind of think I know what we're gonna find in here but it's my duty to show you the duty not sure when it was built but if there's a tornado coming it's a heck of a tornado shelter it looks like it's well maintained for what it is we have a and I thought some of them might be in the shower when I walked in here but This is your handicap shower and bath. And the water won't turn off. I tried. So that they want y'all to know that there have been numerous drownings in this area due to swift current, sudden drop off, and underwater obstacles. And since there was some pretty heavy rain in the area, over the last couple days, the river seems to be running pretty strong. Uh, that's faster than I want to try to kayak. All right, let's 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 go see some more stuff. So if, if you're thinking about paying a visit to this campground and you're bringing the littles with you, the grandkids or the kids, they'll be excited because they've got their own play space. And it is... Kind of handicap accessible. There's even solar powered lights. Volleyball court. Looks like there's power right there where that tent side is. This is a beautiful park. Let's go check out some campsites. Oh, there's a let's go let's go see that board first. So this is the start of the come and take it paddling trail. But they want you to know it's not maintained, so there there, there may be significant de debris anyway. Just know it's not maintained. So we are here. Of course they're showing a lake, but there is no lake. And it goes all the way to the next dam in Gonzales. That would be, that would be an interesting excursion. Okay. Let's go check out a, a couple of these back in campsites. And there's something over there. 
let's go see some stuff. If you don't need power or water, oh, you got privacy in this site. I don't even know what number it is. It's at the very end of the loop. Oh, the brand new cooker box, fire ring, and a picnic table. I guess you could pitch a tent over there. It's not exactly flat, but... You have a overlook of the river, and it's moving pretty fast, so that's why this is... You, you can tell I've never done a paddling trail. But you put in here so you can float down to the next one. All right, let's, let's go see another restroom. But if you look right there, you can see a doe. I think it's a doe. And there's another one. Where'd it go? It'd be right there. Yappy said she saw some right up by the coach last night when she took the dogs out. Okay, now we're gonna go see the other bathroom. Now, it's not anything gonna be bragging about it back when you get back home, but it, it is standing the test of time. Anyway. Better than nothing, I guess. At least you got a flush toilet, it's not a vault. Let's go see a campsite. I'm pretty certain there's a 14 day limit here, but it looks like maybe they don't pay a lot of attention to that. I'm just, just saying, some of these look like they've been here a while. So we got two back in. Site number 13 and 14. These are all full connection. So you have your sewer, water, 30 amp. Sewer, water, and 30. But of course you're 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 in the, the trees, so maybe you don't need as much electricity. We have no we we have no lantern hook. We won't be camping in, in complete style. We do have a hole in the ground for burning firewood, a place to cook charcoal. This would be site number 14. It's got a much better patio pad than 14. 14 just has a cooker. All right. Maybe we'll find another one. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that they don't uphold the 14 day limit. <laughs> so here's five and six. Let's see if we can find maybe one or two more. Number 39. I kind of like this because it's not, it's more, more by itself. But I think it's just a water only. Indeed. It's primitive. So I guess if you in a pinch, it'd be all right. I like the primitives down there better anyway. You'll have to see that you'll, you'll have to subscribe so you can watch the the virtual tour. Tours! I produced two tours, two virtual tours for every campground, the 360 and then with the Hero 11. All right, we're going to head on back up that way. Oh, by the way, there's no pavement. It's all gravel. If you got to play some basketball, well, you got a place for it. There's actually another vo volleyball court over there, and I, I just stepped in somebody's dog poop. Pick up after your dogs, please. 
That's just nasty. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Something that really caught me by surprise was the laundry facility. They have a laundry. And it's not a, it's not a whole lot of laundry facility. One washer, one dryer. But if you don't have a washer or dryer, that's a lot of washer and dryer. My boat ramp fans are not gonna be happy. They don't think they've put a boat in the water here in a long time. Very long time. Probably 1998. You'll notice that there are two docks. There's actually docks that, are, we'll, we'll go over there and see that, but there's docks that were lining that canal. I guess this is where you hold your group events. And back in the day, you would have a beautiful view of the lake. But since the lake is no more, this one you got a banana tree growing. <laughs> Where did the banana trees come from? I think those are banana trees. All right. Go see what else we can find. This would have been a very, very cool place to visit back in the day. I guess these are boat docks. Not sure if they were boat docks or intended for fishing. I would imagine boat docks. They probably rented boats or something. Lakewood Boat Ramp Rehab Project. Wonder when that was supposed to have started. In 1998, they had a they had some high water. I'm here at the the park office, park headquarters. If you need a dump station, they have a dump station. Kind of in a odd location, but since most of the people are here on a permanent basis at the full connection site, only three sites are ever gonna be using the dump station. They have an after hours check-in kiosk. You're gonna wanna know your confirmation number for reservation, you put in your confirmation code. And during normal hours, it looks like they may have a little cafe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look like they have much going on in there. So we're not gonna be able to find out anything about the dry lake. I'm on the bridge. The bridge that's closed. There's about a dozen houses back out here. We saw, I don't know, about a dozen cars last night while we were sitting outside. Not too bad. Other than that, this place was quiet. So quiet you could hear the water flowing over the, running over the dam. You can hear it now. All right, gotta go do a, a virtual tour. That didn't take very long, did it? It's not a real big park or campground. There's some things I like, and there's some things that uh, I think could be a lot improved. Some of those RVs that are down there are campground hosts. Uh, some of them, or not. I'll just leave it at that. I, I, I'm not a fan of the or nots. Uh, I think this is a really... Now, there's one other thing that I'm not a big fan of with this campground. That's the cost. So it's about $35 a night for the pull-through site with 50 amp and no sewer. Uh, I think all the sites are like $35 a night 
hold on helicopter pricing is i think a little little higher than it should be for what you're getting uh, if you compare that 35 dollars a night to a texas state park where you're getting paved roads paved sites that are in pretty good shape really nice bathrooms and and then we get here and yeah you've got full connection sites in the pecan grove but you're right next to the long-term habitation and the mess that goes along with those yeah it's real casual down there and i'll leave it at that that you i don't think you really get 35 dollars a night worth of campsites but that being said uh, it was extremely quiet here last night we've got great cellular connection i can use starlink uh we had like 50 tv channels so if you're looking for a place to camp and you don't just have to have the full connection and but you like privacy these three pull through sites they don't look like they get a whole lot of use if you've got a gray water camel meaning the, the blue water tote and you want to you want to set up here for a week i mean you're just you can drag that over the blue blue blah, 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 blah. you can drag that tank over to the dump station we're just outside of Gonzales, Texas, so if you're moving north and south down in this part of the country, you might want to consider visiting this little campground. And with that, we got to wrap it up because we got to move to the next campground like right now. Yep, you got to get online and do some work, and we can't do that. She can't do that while we're moving the RV. All right, so we are done here. I sure hope you enjoyed our little visit to the Lakewood Recreation Area on the Guadalupe River. I like this. I like it. There's some things I don't care for, but there's some things, there's a lot of pluses, and the pluses way out, the outweigh the minus. The pluses outweigh the minuses. I think this is one that you should come visit at least for a night or two as you're traveling on use it as a waypoint stop uh if you want to do some paddling on a river it'd be a good destination all right we're done if you're still with me at this point thank you so very much please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media i think i'm hoping that by the time you see this we'll be at 20,000 subscribers we're getting close thank you for that remember to hit that bell when you subscribe for those of you who have been following along, this coffee's for you. It's cold, but it's still good. And for our patrons, we are so grateful. Thank you for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?